Hi everyone, I'm Soumya, an associate software engineer at Red Hat and an educator. In this video, I will talk about the different set of programming profiles and tech stack linked to them. Check out our free master classes by industry leading experts. Link is in the description. In the tech world, plenty of tech stacks are used and linked to those tech stack are some exciting high paying job profiles. In today's video, you will be understanding all about a variety of technologies, frameworks and the programming profiles linked to them. If you are a complete beginner, I will help you understand what are the programming languages and tech stack you should start your career with. By the end of the video, you will also understand what are some of the evergreen technologies that the top notch companies use. Let's start with the different set of programming profiles and what technologies and frameworks are heavily used in them. For each of the programming profiles, we will heavily focus on four parameters. Number one, the job opportunities available in that particular domain. Number two, the salary packages. Number three, learning curve. And finally, number four is the tech stack. We'll talk about the technologies, framework knowledge needed to get into that domain. Let's start with the very first job profile that is SRE, Site Reliability Engineering. Site Reliability Engineers are those engineers who are responsible for making the softwares, the applications as much reliable as possible. From interview point of view, even for the SRE roles, the big ticks have DSA round dedicated. Yes, you can't skip data structure algorithm rounds even if you want to become a site reliability engineer. Your expertise and experience of working with high scale system, the enterprise scale applications will help a lot for this profile. If you are someone who is not very much into developing into coding applications but want to explore how to scale up the softwares and applications then this job profile is really apt for you. Talking about the very first parameter that is the opportunities available in this domain for the SRE role the availability for the freshers are a bit less but nowadays the top notch companies like LinkedIn, Google, Atlassian and a lot more are coming up with a specific role that is SRE. If you go on their career page and search for site reliability engineer, you will get a list of job profiles there. So indeed, the job opportunities are coming up in this domain with a very high rate. Talking about the salary packages, based on the Glassdoor stats, the salary packages of SRE varies from 4.6 lakh to 27 lakh per year in India. Talking about the learning curve, for this domain obviously the learning curve is not that much fast as that is in core software engineering roles. And when we talk about the final point that is the tech stack, so for the SRE role based on what the organization is, the roles and responsibilities might differ. But if we talk about like overall generalized tech stack that is used for the SRE role, then that's very much similar to the same tool set as is used by the DevOps engineer. The second job programming profile is data scientist. Many of the top tech companies are using the concept of data science to solve bigger business problems. If we talk about the job opportunities in this domain, for the freshers, the job openings are a bit less. The organization prefer to get experienced data scientists for their teams. And hence, the demand is there. The demand for the data scientist is very high, but because the number of skilled data scientists is less, that's why the salary packages are also very high. Talking about the average salary package for this job profile for data scientists, it's 10.5 lakh per year in India. The range varies from 4.5 lakh to 28.5 lakh per year. In data science, there are three main parts. Number one is collecting the data. Number two is analyzing the data. And the final step is squeezing insights from the collected data to solve the bigger business problems. Talking about the tech stack, the languages that the data scientists use, that's mainly Python and R programming. The process of collecting useful information from data is the main responsibility, is the main job of data scientist. The features that we see on the applications like YouTube, on Netflix, 
like auto correct feature auto complete whenever you are sending message to someone there are features like auto correction all those are possible because of data science the concepts like ai ml all these are part of data science only the third job programming profile is mobile application developer as the word is pretty much self explanatory the developers who develop application for mobile platforms are called as mobile app developer there are three main categories when it comes to mobile application developer the categories are divided based on the operating system for which the application is developed let's say if you are developing the application the software for the android platform then you are known as android application developer in this case java and kotlin are the most commonly used languages coming to iphones the operating system is ios so if you develop application for the iphones then you are known as ios developers and mostly c and swift are the programming languages that the ios developers use and the third category is the cross platform application developers these developers are such developers who develop code who write code once and that code is used to make application for multiple platform that's why they are called as cross platform application developers the technologies and frameworks used by these developers are mainly dart flutter react native etc it sounds that the cross platform application developers are in high demand but the truth is the native developers like android developers or ios developers are always given more preference it is because of the quality the cross platform developers though they have to write the code once and that will work for multiple platforms but somewhere the quality is compromised there and that's why in india 97% of the mobile application developers are still android developers and the demand is also really very high for them if you in general talk about the first parameter that we said in the starting the job opportunities in this domain it's very high and the salary packages of mobile application developer is also comparatively higher than web developers because in this case the demand is also there but the supply is a bit less it's complicated it's a bit difficult to learn mobile application development especially if compared to web application development as a mobile application developer you can also explore freelancing open source and try participating in the international and national level hackathons the next job programming profile is security engineer security engineers are responsible for mitigating and preventing security breaches that occur within an organization as a security engineer they protect the information the useful information of the organization from any theft cyber attack or any harm security engineers are one of the highly paid engineers but the job opening for the freshers is less in this domain if you have a good background in security engineering if you have a major in security engineering then certainly that will help you get into this domain the next job profile is web developer if we talk about web developer they are such coders they are such developers who have expertise in developing websites in web development there are two significant parts front end and back end if we talk about front end whatever you see on the website the ui that is the front end html css and javascript are heavily used in web development front end side talking about html that is used to give the basic structure to the website CSS is used to do a makeover of the website what will be the color of the button what will be the entire theme all those things are taken care by CSS the actual functioning the actual action that is taken care by javascript let's say if there is a button so if on clicking that button what action should be done maybe payment or saving item to the cart any such action that is all taken care by javascript on the other hand when it comes to backend then node js that is the runtime environment of javascript and mongodb the database the combination is heavily used let's understand this with the help of an example if we talk about the amazon website whatever you see on the front that is the front end the ui that is the front end and if you are let's say saving some item to the cart all those things are taken care by the backend code written by the backend developers 
also there are databases to manage everything like your profile details whatever items you are saving or the entire order history everything goes in the database and there are two main type of databases the tabular database and the non tabular database now let's talk about the parameters that we talked about in the beginning talking about job opportunities in this sector it's a lot really the demand of websites it's never going to decrease the startups freelancing clients everyone will need website if anyone has any startup idea they certainly need a website for themselves the demand is very high and the supply is also too good because it's easy skill to learn there are so many plenty of free resources available on the internet to learn web development so there are a lot lot of web developer and because the supply is also good demand is good and hence the salary packages of web developers are comparatively less as compared to other developers especially mobile application developers the next programming profile is cloud solution architect a cloud solution architect is that person who has expertise in cloud infrastructure platforms like google cloud aws or azure in this domain certifications help a lot it helps in proving that the person that the programmer has a decent knowledge of cloud infrastructure platforms if we talk about the interview rounds of cloud infrastructure architect in this case unlike the other job profiles we talked about earlier you can skip the dsa part in this your knowledge around cloud infrastructure platform is going to be considered more than your programming your core coding knowledge so in this case you can skip the data structure algorithm part and focus on cloud platform knowledge more the average salary package of a cloud solution architect varies from 16 to 19 lakh per year based on the statistic from glassdo the next programming profile is the very popular profile that is software engineer software engineers are such developers who develop code test them deploy them and so on if we talk about the interview process for core software engineering role then in this case data structure algorithm is something which is given a lot more significance than anything else some of the organizations have profiles like software engineer and then they have like android developer back end developer or such profile mentioned in those cases alongside data structure algorithm rounds they have that specific role round let's say if that is for android developer then they will be having a separate round for that particular profile as well if we talk about the first parameter that is the opportunities and job profile in this domain there are a plenty of them if you go on the portal of any of the tech organization you will see a lot many profile for software engineering role talking about the second parameter that is salary package for this domain it really depends on the organization you are joining the service based companies the product based companies and the startups all of them have a variety of salary packages for the employees even the colleges the university names also matters here for the same profile the same organization give a different salary package depending upon from which organization the candidate is coming in now as promised in the starting of the video if you are a complete beginner i will be helping you pick the right programming language as a beginner it's often really very difficult which programming language to start your career with on the internet in the friend circle everyone will give different advice some people will say start with javascript others will say start with the industry standard language like c++ java etc let me tell you the right advice here choose that programming language which aligns with your end goal if you want to grab a placement if you want to get into core software engineering the industry standard languages like java and c++ are your way to go if you want to get into machine learning then python is the language that you should explore more on the other hand if you are someone who is more interested into exploring the mobile application development domain then java and kotlin is something which is native which is used by the android developers in the same domain mobile application development if you want to develop applications for the ios platforms then swift and c programming languages are something which you should choose if you want to get into cross platform application development then dart flutter and react native are the technologies and frameworks that you should start exploring if you want to get into developing websites 
then HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Node.js, MongoDB, these programming languages, these technologies and frameworks are the set which you should be choosing. We have already covered which programming profile need, which kind of tech stack, what are the salary packages, job opportunities in each of the domain. So I hope you will be able to decide by now what is the set of programming language and tech stack that you should start your career with. Now let's talk about the evergreen technologies and frameworks in the IT industry. Based on the stats from Stackshare, the programming languages and technologies like Python, JavaScript, CSS, Java, C++, MongoDB, Node.js and so on are the most popular programming languages and technologies used by the software engineers and top IT companies across the globe. I hope this video was useful for you in understanding the variety of tech stack and the programming profiles available in the tech industry. Also, I hope by now you will be able to understand which set of programming language and technology you should choose if you are a complete beginner. If you are new to our channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe to our channel for more such content and if you have any queries, feel free to drop them in the comment section below.